S log two or S log three? What do you think? S log. Ten log. Heavy soul. Another shot. Oh, yeah, he's getting it. You're not doing onions first and garlic? No! Oh! Fucking savage. I'm just getting mad. Where's the onions? No! Oh. Uh, they're right somewhere. I fucked up. Actually, I'm supposed to put the broccoli in there. The onions are above my bed, or above in the ha bed hammock. The yellow onions? There's one onion here, but I thought we got a bag of onions, didn't we? So I, I boiled the water, and then I accidentally dropped the noodles in it. You accidentally drop noodles and boiling No, they're not crunchy anymore. I guess we can keep a couple cans. Nice and here for this time to replace it. Riley's up there trying to fix the anchor. I'm just steering us in a general direction so that we can remain here um, and hopefully get this anchor figured out. to your heartache if you want to open your door mm. i'm feeling kind of lost when your mind is up. hiding whatever that is choking your chest i can see it in your eyes that you're shaking because you're holding it back mm. maybe you'll make up your Corsi. Uh, on the other side is a, a good anchorage there, but I think we're going on this little bay because it's going to be blowing northwesterly all night and this is the leeward side. So we're going to be a little bit cheeky here and just anchor here will be more protected. Okay. <laughs> My rap name is gonna be Young Coconut Juice. Proto Fenugreek does some weird thing to your sweat where it makes you smell like a, a Middle Eastern man in a very good way. Hashtag not racist. Why are you doing that? That's illegal. No, it isn't. Oh, we are on a provincial park though. What are you boys doing? Uh, we're uh, uh, nothing. <laughs> nothing. We're gonna inflate this paddle board and uh, paddle into the beach there. This was kindly given to us by Thoroso Surf. Thank you so much, guys. Thank you. It's so much lighter. Here on Decorsi, there was a cult leader called Brother 12. He would marry rich widows and 
I'm not sure exactly what he did, but I'll get that in the further plaque that I'm going to read in a bit. Lured by promises of escaping worldwide destruction and attaining immortality on Earth, many wealthy individuals moved to De Courcy Island during the late 1920s to become one of the chosen. They turned their fortunes over to Brother 12, head of the Aquarian Foundation. Boaters visiting Pirate's Cove, then known as the Haven or Gospel Cove, sometimes found their wives drawn into joining the colony by Brother 12's compelling charm. Husbands were discarded unless they had money. The colony prevailed six years, complete with high priestesses, a house of mystery, impending messiahs, and armed fortifications. With the arrival of a mysterious woman named Zura, known as Madame Z, and her bullwhip, a reign of terror began that included beatings and murder. When the police finally closed in, Brother 12 and Madame Z dynamited their paradise and fled. Hey guys, welcome to my tiny house. This is called the, uh, the dog house because you know, do I, I like dogs and I like houses. It's made of 100% recycled materials. I actually found all these materials on the beach. This definitely wasn't built here. I didn't move into it. I built it myself with all the recycled materials I found on the beach. <gasps> As we walk into the front entryway, we've got a nice open space. You know, I was thinking about installing a loft up here, a sleeping loft, and I think that would be, that would work pretty well. As you come inside, it's, you can see it's quite cozy, very homey. I added some touches. I, I painted this board. I definitely did that myself. I didn't find it like that. I definitely did it myself. And I got this bench here, um, another seat. These are some rocks. Um, I kind of use these as pillows. Well, actually, this is like my entire bed area. So, yeah, you know, it's where the magic happens. That's supposed to be like that. This is the exterior. You know, I got a tree growing right here. This is... Uh, you know, I just pick this like that and eat it, but it's not ripe yet. So that's why I'm spitting it out. I have some shell decorations. These are actually my dinner plates. This is my garage right here. It's under here. That's where I keep everything, store everything. It's mostly, it's mostly where, it's mostly where I, oh, it's mostly where I put my leaf why I choose to live this way or why do you live a minimalist lifestyle um can I get a line 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 <laughs> you see it smell it there's an ember some of your weed oh definitely you think so? it's in the bag yeah we can try we moved on from trying to burn grass and now we got real grass here we got some weed uh, Riley's gonna light it for me I'm gonna inhale oh my god Woo! oh yeah <laughs> what, oh my god no way Oh, that was really hot. Yeah. Oh, dude, I definitely got some. <laughs> oh my god, dude, it's just like going at it. It's good, man. It's a show. Holy smokes. That is definitely working. <laughs> 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 this is how island boys do it. <laughs>
We're leaving Takorsi right now, um, and where we're going is we're going to Wallace Island. What do we do now? Forrest and I were uh, tacking back and forth. I guess Greg was on the pooper. <laughs> Shit. I'm holding on for dear life. Ass on the toilet, hands braced on the wall. We're flipping like this. And then it's like riding a freaking surfboard while you're trying to take a deuce. And I stand up and, you know, I'm cleaning up my, you know, and uh, I'm like basically fucking like this, holding on to everything. And I look out the little porthole window and the boat's just like completely sideways. <laughs> the friggin' toilet paper roll flies off the counter and almost goes, the whole roll almost goes right in, into the friggin' bowl. <laughs> Jeez. So what's going on, Riley? Oh, we found bottom. And not with the anchor, with our keel. <laughs> it's a very shallow little bay here and it's yeah. low tide. And your depth sounder's off a little bit, so. Yep. <laughs> bottom, uh, tide's coming in though, so. Yeah, we hit this at rock bottom low, so, uh, yeah. Should be all right. Just wait, yeah. It's a sketch. <laughs> Just wait for the tide. Pretty much. And maybe keep an eye on it so that we don't drift all the way in. We got the anchor in there now, so. Oh, anchor, true. Anchor set. Okay. Cool. Anchor set. Should be okay. Yeah. All right. <laughs> So Greg, I'm just gonna get you to go in the dinghy and take the stern line and run it out to shore there. Find an eye on shore, feed it through the eye, and then row it back to the boat so then we can pull it tight and straighten the boat out so we have a proper stern tie here. Welcome to Wallace Island. This is an incredibly beautiful spot. These are all, I wanna show you all the awesome gems about this island. Right here is a beautiful picnic bench. It is, mav it is marvelous. It feels very sturdy too. Like, you would almost think it's on a concrete slab, but it's not, it's straight on dirt. Over here is my wheelbarrow. It's really pretty, pretty badass actually. It's a good scooper. You can do things with it and roll it around. This pipe's genius. Yeah, I thought it was a, it's a, it's a big pipe for smoking weed out of here. Um, I don't know why they have a no t smoking tobacco sign. There's a pipe right in front. Yeah, it's just crazy. Like, you can full on just, light up with this pipe <laughs> and get totally cheap off of that get all derpy and everything riley wanted to show us this boat he's been here before and he's seen this but never like gone and explored it it looks like this um what kind of metal is that the steel the steel yeah, yeah it's, it's a pretty big cool. old steel hull and it's, it's like rotted away riveted together it's really cool looks like an old uh lifeboat or something oh cool yeah the keel is that's like pretty much all that's left to the bottom of the boat just like the solid Chunk of steel, really. <laughs> Isn't this bay so nice, Greg? Huh? What the? What's going on over here? My finger. No, no. I just popped the button off. <laughs> doing that. Did you break your shorts. <laughs> no, I broke off my shirt here. Just oh. popped out one. Bing. <laughs> I heard that, I wondered what it was. <laughs> yeah, People just, I guess, started putting plaques of their names and their boat's names all over and all inside. It's just insane. And like lots of creativity in some of them. Some of them are just simple. Some of them are like full on like, like, you know, super nice things. Some of them are people have made like, look like boats like this. Really cool.
Whoa. There's no eggs in it, so. That's cool. Yeah, it's awesome. Check it out. Whoa. Yeah. No eggs, unfortunately. Otherwise, we would actually be able to eat. <laughs> yeah, we're pretty hungry, you guys. Whoa. That's nice. That sunset is amazing. Yeah. Beautiful. We made it to this little point. Beautiful sunset. Hell yeah. Hell Beautiful, man. Yeah. Just feel. Feel the sun against your face, just that extra warmth. Yeah, feel it. It feels just like what it looks like. The sun in my face, the wind in my hair. Wow. <laughs> oh man, so I just spent probably the last hour carving out the name of the boat on this piece of driftwood. <laughs> I think... <laughs> um, I, wrote, I wrote in uh, Shanine. But actually, the name of my boat is Shaheen with an H. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, my God. <laughs> so funny, dude. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going to put it up like this in the morning. It's going to be good. Yeah, all right. <laughs> 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 on vacation now with this cuke on the eyes. Just the butt rumps <laughs> chewed off. I can't get it to focus. <laughs> Come on, Greg. Here, lean forward. Oh, oh no. Oh no. <laughs> Here, I'll row this side. We can fix it. I have vinyl glue. The leverage. We have vinyl glue that we can use. Right, we got an outboard. Gaff tape. <laughs> Everything's just breaking on this trip. We're gonna leave Wallace and head south to Salt Spring Island. It's gonna be about a two and a half hour motor, or hopefully there's a bit of wind so we can sail. Uh, looks like we're gonna be beating into it if there's in if there is any wind. So the old stern tie is all knotted on the anchoring port the point or something like that over there. So Riley has to go out. Our oars broke, so he's going out with the line to uh, figure out what's going on on that end, and then I'm just gonna pull him through. Ah, uh, back to the boat like that. Oh shit. Where's your hair, dude? I'm old Greg! <laughs> Have you guys seen uh, old Greg? Well, if I put that on my head and I jump in that dinghy, basically him. Basically he's saying. Basically he's saying, I'm old Greg! I'm old Greg! <laughs> can, I, can I say mangina on this film? <laughs> That's what we are saying! All these power motors are just ripping glass oh, here. Oh, fuck. <laughs> We're getting stuck. From those wakes, it looks like we broke our French press. That's my second Fresh, pre fresh Prince of Bel-Air broken. That's my, <laughs> that's, that's my second uh, French press that I've broken. Just at the government dock. Nice and easy. A little bit rough though on this side. We'll find a better spot to dock. Oh, it's been a couple days. Probably don't smell that great, but uh, the girls are coming here, so gotta freshen up and get ready for that. Our conjugal visits. <laughs> Um, yeah, so we gotta find out where they are. They said they're on the beach somewhere, but this whole place is beaches, so we just leave Riley with that boat and just go fuck off with them for a while. Do what with them? Oh, uh, what? What? <laughs> what about the ass person? <laughs> Stub your toe. <laughs> Break it in ten places. 
Well, that would have been better footage than what I did anyway. <laughs> Break all 270 bones in my foot. Yeah. <laughs> she, did you hear that, girl? No, what'd she say? She's like, am I going to be in a vlog? Hello? Oh, I didn't hear her. <laughs> she was really quiet about it. Hi. Girls. <laughs> Girls. Hey. Riley's Hi, always stealing my girl. How you doing? I'm Cam. Cam, nice to meet you. Talked to you on the phone last night? Yes. <laughs> I was there. <laughs> on the phone. I was high as shit. <laughs> 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 like, uh. Am I going to be in the vlog? Hello? <laughs> uh, so yeah, we're checking out the market right now. We're trying to find something to eat. Um, just exploring a bit and uh, going to restock as well. Um, but mostly just hanging out and enjoying Salt Spring. We're on Ganges and we're at the uh, Saturday market. It is so alive, just completely bustling. There's fresh produce, all these arts and crafts, jewelry, everything people made. It's all locally produced here on Salt Spring, which is awesome. We did. Beautiful water. My three little mermaids. <laughs> this water's so warm. Oh, look at the super soakers! Dude, this got way better. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. Whoa, don't spray me. Ah. Yeah. Riley on Tinder and with our intervention we got him a date. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Congratulations. Yeah. I don't know what to do now though. <laughs> I'm freaking out already. <laughs> See, I feel like a total jerk when I'm like, hey girl, I got a boat, wanna come to my boat and hang out? I don't think I could ever do that. That was my dream about when I bought a boat. I'm like, yeah, I can have these girls come over and stuff. But I can never work it up to ask a girl instead to come onto my boat. Yeah, instead, it's just me and Greg. <laughs> Not only did I get you a date, but I also gave her your number. Oh my so now God. she has your number, and now... Let's see a photo of her. <laughs> She's no probably going to go in the shower. Clean your bed. Make this place nice. Yeah. Shave everything. Yeah, shave yeah. everything. <laughs> no, it's a, it's a thing. It has Even your knees. <laughs> no, Especially your knees. Yeah. <laughs> I was prepared. I sort of. So it looks like you're getting ready for Riley to have a Tinder date. Uh, me? You, you were like rubbing all over the steering wheel. Like this. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just excited. I'm just excited I can tell. <laughs> uh, apparently, I have what, a Tinder date. What's your name? Ven Venera? Vera. Vera. Oh my Venereal. god. But there's an accent, so it's kind of confusing. Vera. So I get that. Just Venera? Vera. 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 Just say French. Vera. Forest, yeah. Vera. 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 Vera.
Real stinky. So I'm busting <laughs> out the old incense here. <laughs> and Emily's right in my way. Well, and, uh, ooh, those ordered. smell really good. Yeah. Yeah. In the open package, I can smell them right away. So what, Emily, That's going to set the mood. Yeah. I'm tidying up, you know, their <laughs> exterior closet so it doesn't just look like ghetto when she rolls up. <laughs> this is our Dodger right here. And we've been sticking our shoes, our hoodies, all our extra clothes, just throw it up our here. Dishes our dishes. Our dishes, everything. It's just like a storage space, you know, like... <laughs> and every time we need to pull a halyard up, we just move everything from one side to the other. <laughs> I had a GoPro fall out of your jeans. Oh, hey, we found the GoPro. <laughs> oh my God. We could use that at oh, the lake earlier. So Here we go. This is this is the uh, this is the culprit right here. <laughs> the old the old uh, boat head. So uh, spending a lot of time in here with this incense. Yeah, cleanse your stinky bed, please. <laughs> My bed's not stinky. I'm the only one with sheets, dude. It's just like our house to place. That's also closed. What? So all the pizza places are closed. Okay. So. There's the burger place just up the road. Sure. Like right, right there. I can Let's see check it. out that menu. What are the options? What's it called again? Burger. Burgerville. Is it? Burgeritaville. No, is it? Burger. <laughs> Good. What a beautiful night. Oh my god. Beautiful night for love making, am I right, Riley? Woo! <laughs> <laughs> oh, the traffic cones. Traffic cones? Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. You have a lot of that and uh, it's a mess. <laughs> oh no. Yeah. In Montreal, like, right a lot now, of like. Same, uh, same for the people that walk. Here, Greg, yeah, you, you can see how you look in here. That light is so bright. Yeah. Dude, we could, we could totally do that 70s show kind of a like <laughs> video. Yeah, <that's> it, right? <laughs> there you go. Wait, where are you? I'm trying to see if I look Orange. good in these. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Just trying to film something here, I like guys. That. <laughs> <laughs> it's such a pretty bird. Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What are you guys doing? <laughs> We're fanning out the smoke. We're fanning out the smoke, man. What does it look like we're doing? <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. Some nice. kind of cosplay. <laughs> Hi, welcome to the boat. So we're at the festival. So, we're, in, uh, we're at Ganges Harbor in Salt Spring. Uh, we're just gearing up. We just did another grocery shop. Got Mr. Noodles for Greg. Vegetable ones, because <laughs> he's vegan. My Tinder date was really nice. <laughs> Guys! Sorry. Jeez, Forrest, control your sneezes. My Tinder date was very nice. Her name is Vera. She's a French Canadian from Montreal. She actually just came to Salt Spring like three days ago. Um, so she just came to the boat. We all hung out. It was cool. She got along with everybody. Everybody got along with her. She, was, uh, she seemed like a really cool person. Um, nothing really happened. We just hung out and talked and socialized with everybody else too. It wasn't anything uh, too crazy but I, uh, I hugged, her, hugged her goodbye and then she said, let's keep in contact, so that was cool. I told her I'll be coming back here in a couple of weeks for the Salt Spring, for the Salt Spring Slasher, which is a uh, downhill skateboarding event here on Salt Spring. I don't think you guys think. Um, I'm a good person, so I'm it's another beautiful sunny day. I like that, yeah. That's a good one. <laughs> it's another beautiful sunny day. But you should start talking once the door's open. But it looks better when it open when I talk behind the door. Okay. It's a beautiful sunny day. We are on Salt Spring. We are just kind of packing up the boat and getting ready to head out to Gibson's. Earlier we had breakfast, did our shopping. We had a really good sleep on the boat last night. Uh, we went shopping, then we said goodbye to the girls. They're on their way back to Victoria, and we're gonna get going here and head to Gibson's. So, my crew is pretty new. They've never really sailed before or been on a boat. I've been kind of teaching them all about sailing and uh, and kind of 
how to run a boat just a little bit here and there, sort of teaching them things along the way. Uh, Force has give, been giving me a hand. He's been helping me tie up or uh, set up the lines and the fenders on the side when we come to dock and moving the dinghy around. Uh, he just recently moved it out and he tied the cleat on wrong, I, I noticed. He almost got it right, but he did the loop the wrong way and did some, did some funny stuff here. So I think I have to teach him how to tie a cleat properly. Forrest! I knew that uh, I got the figure eight, but then I tried to loop it, but then it was crossed on the loop. On the loop? Yeah, I know, so like, not, so that's it's not how I even had it. It's, I know, because I, you redid I it. fixed it and I put it back. Yeah. Do it how you did it. Okay. Well, no. I think that's how I had it. That's how you had it? Well, it's not really how I had it. I had it on this side, but yeah. And that was a little bit funny. That's the way you had, that's the way I did it for you. That's good, yeah, we'll cut it to that. So you had, it, you had it really close. All you had to do, Forrest, was when you do your loop, uh -huh. I always hold this side, or I, I, uh, I, I cross it over, and then I grab my loop, and then you fold it like this. Yeah. And then actually, oh, and you place it on that side. And then, yeah, so this side, so you can actually do a loop out like this, and then you can parallel these two lines, and then you, you flip it over, and then it cinches, and it looks all nice and neat. <laughs> and, that's how you tie a, and that's how you tie a cleat properly. I know it's probably super loud in here from the engine, but uh, we're motoring still. We're not going to Gibson's. We've decided to go through Dodds and Arrows again and actually go to Gabriola and then meet up with Vanessa tomorrow. Right now, I'm making the boys lunch. Uh, I've taken uh, Mr. Noodles because we bought 24 of them, and I've made a little uh, flare to make them a little bit nicer. So all the veggies we have on boat, and uh, these are the Mr. Noodles, and it, they just steam in oil and a little bit of water. Um, garlic, ginger, onions, sautéed, and thin carrots with small broccoli and red pepper. Delicious. Device is ready. Bluetooth mode.
<laughs> Let's clean that lens. It still has that shit. <laughs> So we're now in Dodds and Arrows, and what's the current going with us right now? Uh, right now we have about, right now there's about two knots of current going with us. So we're doing about 6.4 knots over ground, uh, but in the Narrows coming up, it's going about five knots. So we're gonna be cooking. Yeah, we're gonna be hauling through here. Uh, it's a little bit, a uh, little bit of an adventurous thing. So we have some camera set up Greg's gonna be on the uh, on the monopod and we're gonna just get a bunch of shots of us ripping through here uh, we're speed. gonna we're gonna be getting sort of tossed around it's gonna be whirlpools and all this stuff uh, just stay like lay low be safe at the narrows it's going about five knots so we're gonna be absolutely cooking Busting uh, five knots wind whipping at my coat <laughs> can't stop me motherfucker cuz I'm on a boat <laughs> I just really want to do that <laughs> <laughs> Seven knots. Uh, we're flying with this. We're flying with the water right now. These people are here just chilling. It's Holy cool. smokes, this water pass right here yeah, is crazy. Is <laughs> That's like a straight up whirlpool. Yeah, it is. <laughs> Man, these are, this is awesome. That's a whirlpool right there that we just passed by. Straight up get wrecked. Oh yeah, look at this one. <laughs> we just made it to Capriola. We dropped anchor. Now we're just waiting for the boat to settle up. It was about a six hour journey from Salt Spring. We, were, we thought we were gonna go to Gibson today, but completely denied by the weather. Well, it was, the weather was permitting, but we wanted a little bit more. We wanted some wind and there wasn't any wind. So we decided just to motor the shortest distance we can. Probably go to some beaches and there's some cool, um, they're called the Malaspina Galleries and they're like some sandstone like kind of um, caves. We're gonna go check those out. But tonight we're just gonna make dinner and hang out and chill with the homies. Saturdays for the boys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where's my hair? I had my hair perfect and I fucked it up. Hey Riley, what's up? I fix my hair so I look pretty on the camera, but it's just a mess. No, you man. look pretty. Just tuck it behind your ear on your. Put your sunglasses up. I need a haircut, man. Shit long. I just look like emo. <laughs> I'm using my phone as a as a mirror because mirrors are not fancy enough for me. Okay. Take one. Uh, it's already 8.20 at night. I thought it was like 5. This is so weird. I guess it's time to go to bed. <laughs> Heading to bed, guys. See you guys tomorrow for another action-packed day of sailing. Heading to bed, guys, for another action-packed day of sailing. And Riley's coughing, what I'm saying. Riley is not copying what Forrest is saying. Riley's almost copying word for word what I'm saying. <laughs> Wasn't even filming yet. Oops. Oops. Over here. I was just doing an outro for my video. Uh, another great day. It's ten. It's See ten o'clock. <laughs> it is ten o'clock, and I'm exhausted. <laughs> so tired. Uh, yeah. Doesn't even look like I'm filming anyways. Well, now it does. <laughs> See you guys. <laughs> I'm gonna pass in my camera. You're gonna climb down into the dingy boat. Gonna ride till I can't no more. Ride till I can't no more. Gonna climb in the middle because more is on the end. So we spent the night in this little bay on Gabriel Island. We're gonna check out some of the beaches today. 
Uh, later today we're actually meeting up with Vanessa who's going to be our fourth crew member and who Riley and I mostly met in Taiwan. I met her before that in Vancouver. I did a video with her. She's living in her van and stuff, but uh, we got to know her in Taiwan and she's going to be a great addition to our crew. stone barrel. Yeah. This is cool. What do you think? The galleries are amazing. I can't believe this. It's like, I don't know, this cliffside or whatever it was was just eroded away by the water at some point and for some reason it just kind of made this crest like a big wave. So we're just standing in the barrel of like this, this solidified in stone wave, but it's made out of rock. Dude, it's just <laughs> like this sandstone, like it's like actively eroding still. You can feel it. It's like you could you could just chisel this away if you wanted. It's, that's how soft this is. It's actually quite amazing. It's like a whole other world. Like, and the ecosystem that it's created, or like I guess the geology of it all is fascinating. Like how these little holes were created out of here. I don't know whether it's raindrops or consistent dripping off the edge of this. I don't know, but it's. Quite amazing. And then it must have just been like from higher seas eroding this out. I don't know if maybe on some stormy days, maybe it gets pretty crazy here and erodes some more. Who knows how much longer this will last for, but it's cool to see it now. It's tight enough as it is. I like this. Don't fall in the water. Don't fall in the water. First time on a boat, just fall right in. <laughs> <laughs> With all my things. Oh, hello. Hey. How's it going? Good, how are you? Good. You I'm Vanessa. Vanessa. Yeah. I'm Greg. Greg? Old Greg. Greg. Yeah, nice old to Greg. meet you, Greg. <laughs> yeah, nice to meet you, too. Are you the vegan on the boat? I am the vegan on the boat. Perfect. Are you the second vegan on the boat? I am trying to be a vegan, so oh, having cool. another vegan helps. Right on. Yeah. yeah, it's hard around these guys. Yeah, I don't want to be the <laughs> difficult person with a dietary restriction. <laughs> <laughs> but if a stricter person than me, I always go by their diet. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> right on. Middle of the Georgia Strait, doing a crossing from the Nanaimo to the Sunshine Coast, uh, mainland Canada. We, we did a quick pit stop in the Nanaimo last night, picked up food, fuel, and water, uh, setting ourselves for a long trip towards Princess Louisa. We also picked up another passenger, Vanessa, she's from Vancouver. Right now, we're motoring dead into the wind. There isn't much wind right now, so we're just motoring. We have about four hours to kill, so we're just doing a bit of art or chores. I fixed a couple of things on the boat. Now I'm thinking about starting another project. This was a piece of driftwood that I found on Wallace Island. I picked this one up and kept it because I thought it was pretty cool because I thought it kind of looked like a bit of a boat. It has sort of the, a, a neat little hull shape and a kick's bow, so I'm going to just start carving it. I picked up a couple chisels, a couple chisels, a few things and uh, a machete knife for carving. Just sort of hack it together. I thought it'd be kind of useful, it's a little project. So that's what I'm gonna start now. Man overboard! Woo! Oh my God! Oh my God! I lost it! Where'd it go? So what? Riley, get ready to grab it before it's up, man. It would be so funny. <laughs> well, I was uh, in my room over there and it just hard man overboard. I was like, fucking <laughs> fell. <laughs> so I come out and it's um, Riley's wood. <laughs> <laughs> That's only Riley's wood. No big deal.
across the Georgia Strait from Nanaimo. We are pretty well just in front of Smuggler's Cove on the Sunshine Coast here. That's where we are gonna anchor for the night and just hang out. It's a lot different now because we're on the mainland as opposed to down at the Gulf Islands on Vancouver Island. How's sailing so far, Vanessa? I mean, this isn't sailing, but boating is nice. Bye, Forrest! Just have like two lights come up out of frame. <laughs> Took up the hat. <laughs> Drop your shorts. <laughs> <laughs>
We're pulling into Pender Harbor for a quick little pit stop. We're gonna go pick up some groceries and some fuel before we head off to Princess Louisa. Uh, we're, we're looking at beautiful Pender Harbor right now. And on the mountain right there, it looks like there's a forest fire. Hopefully it doesn't grow in anything too big. It's definitely uh, the time of year when everything's getting really dry. And it's kind of unfortunate to see the smoke here. It can be pretty scary uh, coming into forest fire season. You know, it's still early in that season, but we're seeing a lot of, uh, a lot of forest fires across BC already because of uh, record breaking dry temperatures with not very much rain. Right behind us here is the Agamemnong Nong Channel. Can't say that right. Um, which leads up to the Jervis Inlet. At the end of Jervis Inlet is Princess Louisa. It's about a six hour to eight hour motor, depending on the tides. We'll be going about 4.5 knots. Uh, right now, actually, the wind is kind of blowing up right now, so we might even get a little bit of a sail up this channel, which is pretty exciting. Check this out behind me. The camera doesn't really do it justice. Mind boggling. I'm so stoked that we went up here. This is some of the craziest stuff I've ever seen in BC for sure. We're on a bit of a time crunch to make it to Malibu Rapids or uh, Malibu, Malibu Narrows. We're trying to make it out of that slack tide so we can just glide on easily through. Right now it's like four o'clock. We've been motoring for hours. We still have a couple more hours of motoring. Uh, actually no, I think it's five o'clock, isn't it? Yeah. Six o'clock even. It's getting really late. Uh, I think our estimated arrival time is about nine o'clock, so we're gonna be getting in really late. So we're actually making dinner on the road or on the water as some would say. So we're just firing up the barbie. Horses down below, putting together some salad. I'm out here on the barbie. We got some squid. This is pretty exciting here. Downwind. This is great. While we're making, while we're making spin on the Barbie too. This day cannot get any better. Wow, this looks amazing. He's got no squid, but he looks happy though. So we actually had the nice opportunity to turn the motor off. We're uh, going straight downwind, so Riley's got it. What is it called? Wing on wing? Wing on wing. Wing on wing. We got the main on the port side. We got the jib on the starboard Can't side. Can't shut this guy up. He's so excited. Oh, I'm uh, fired right now. <laughs> oh my god, it's a double rainbow. There's a friggin' double rainbow out here. Oh. It's a double rainbow! Yeah. This is amazing. There is a vibrant, pure rainbow. And not just one, but two vibrant and clear rainbows. This is the best day ever. It's pretty incredible double rainbows here as we're sailing into Princess Louisa. Yeah. It's time to just enjoy this now. Yeah. Right. Nachos. Some nachos, some, some boat, boat nachos. nachos. Yeah, man. <laughs> not just regular nachos, these are boat nachos, guys. I forgot the nachos were in the oven. We came up here to watch it and they started all burning. It was like a fire on top of them. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they lit on fire? Yeah. <laughs> you did. Oh, we'll budget for it and then you can come up here after. Wait, I'm gonna switch sides. Uh, 
There's a knot in the rope. Uh, that's naughty. Okay. We're just approaching the end of Jervis Inlet and cutting off to Malibu, or up, up Princess Louisa Arm through Malibu Rapids. Hopefully the current's not too strong. We hit it at a pretty good time. Uh, we're just pushing daylight hours though. It's getting pretty dark. It's like nine o'clock. Um, we're almost there. It was a hard push for today. We were really lucky. We had the wind on our tail blowing us down the whole time. It was a beautiful sail. I couldn't ask for anything more. Mountains looked amazing. We saw rainbows. This place is beautiful, man. It's great. Okay. What do you think, Vanessa? Uh, best day ever. Like, Can you say it a bit louder? Best day ever! So we just came up to the Malibu Rapids. There's this, um, it was once a resort for uh, like actors and famous people, and now it's actually owned by a Christian group. And here it is behind me but it's a pretty narrow little uh, channel here that we're going through. So depending on the tides, it can be pretty crazy, I guess. Um, but it looks like a really nice place and there's quite a few people up here, which surprises me. I don't know how they even get up here. I guess by boat or plane. of Princess Louisa Inlet. Chatterbox Falls are right over there. The clouds are just skirting the tops of the mountains. It's just so mystifying. Oh, it's beautiful. There's a waterfall over there and over there and over there. <laughs> this is crazy. So, good morning everybody. We are going into Chatterbox Falls now at the end of Princess Louisa. And uh, we woke up this morning, it was pouring rain, which just means bigger waterfalls when you think about it. And uh, these waterfalls are beyond yeah, check this out. Um, we're gonna get some close-up shots, but uh, it's unreal. What a place to be. <laughs> That's dope, right? Dude, it's incredible, eh? <laughs> What a spot you took us to, Riley. Oh, this is awesome. So glad you guys could just soak it all in. Literally. <laughs> Soaking it in. <laughs> all right. Oh man. Whoa, here we go. Check out this waterfall, guys.
made it to Chatterbox Falls. Check out this view from inside our boat. Whoa! Waterfalls on waterfalls on waterfalls. It's the box in the Chatterbox. Shut up, Greg. Right here. Shut up, Greg, you fucking... Oh, Greg, I'm Greg, on camera, hey. Greg is the Chatterbox. Yeah, you are a Chatterbox. Is that, am I annoying, guys? So this is the no. view from our no. boat. We love you. I love okay. you. Box you're a love. You're. We love you no matter what. So Even if you are vegan. <laughs> How wet are you? We have Chatterbox Falls right in front of us, and it's a powerhouse. You can hear it from so far away, and there's just the power coming off of it with like the mist and wind, just from the impact of this water hitting the ground is insane. Pretty fun hike so far. It's um, steep, muddy, rugged, um, unmarked, and just generally barely a trail. So Riley's taking us straight into Fern Gully over here. Um, here we go, look at that, gully life. So we sailed out of uh, Princess Louisa this morning, uh, all the way through um, Jervis Inlet. We got gas at Pender Harbor, and now we're sailing across the Georgia Strait into some uh, pretty good winds and some pretty good waves. Um, we're actually sailing all the way up past Texada, the tip of Texada, on uh, what is this? Like a tight? This isn't a broad reach. This is what? What's the other close one? Hauled. Close hauled. Close hauled. Uh, Basically, as close as you can get right to the wind without stalling out. Yeah. I think Vanessa needs a hand down here. And so we'll be tacking and driving up here until we can go broad reach. And then uh, that's pretty much like more with the wind, but kind of like this way or something. <laughs> I don't know, actually, I think it's with the wind. We're kind of like whipping past Texas. What we're doing way. is we're sailing. Yeah, we're sailing. We're, we're sailing. We're sailing hard right now. We're, we're getting like real tilted. Um, Vanessa's down there trying to cook and everything's just Sideways. Falling over, yeah. sideways, things are crazy. There's a perfect breeze right now. Let's see if this thing sails. It floats. I've been motoring for a while now, just getting kind of bored, so I want to try something different here. We've got the old paddle board here, we're going to dunk it in the water, and we're going to tow it about four knots and just going to see what I can do on it. So exciting. Pretty good, just uploading. Uh, I, uh, I took so 300 to clips today, photos and videos, and now I'm transferring them all on my computer. And this time, 
I'm not gonna lose the footage. Boat life has been sweet so far. I mean, like on the very first night, this bed is a little uncomfortable. I, my torso is wider than like the actual seats, but I'm used to sleeping like this now. So, I mean, it's pretty good. Um, I yeah, know this place is actually start to feel like home pretty quick. So, and it's, uh, I don't know, it's sweet. It's like a fucking two week slumber party in here with your, mm -hmm. with your boys. Every day is a Saturday. Every, every day. <laughs> wait, wait. Your shirt's just all of a sudden now? <laughs> every day is always a Saturday? <laughs> yeah. Every day is a Saturday when you're with the boys. <laughs> wait, pan back to me. I'm going to take my pants off. But it's, no. <laughs> <laughs> every time, just one less article of clothing. And then... Next pet, uh, I'm gonna hold a camera, and then when I have a camera, it's forest on you. It's yeah, <laughs> it's um forest on me. Full of adventure, full of learning. Sorry, I was talking fun. through over you the whole time by accident. So yeah, but it's pointed at me. So it's okay. Oh. What? Yeah. It's very directional. Wow. Boat life has been pretty awesome. Um, living small again, living in tight quarters with three awesome people, and just seeing like the coolest places in. British Columbia. Oh my god. <laughs> having to deal with this guy <laughs> farting all the time. <laughs> Just ripping it in the middle of an interview. <laughs> so disrespect. <laughs> yeah. Nice. Love it, dude. It's awesome. <laughs> that's all I can say. I've said that three times and that's yeah. it. Awesome. 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 That's got to make it. it. <laughs> I forced that one so hard just for the bit. <laughs> Did you poop yourself? Yeah, your Almost. Pants, yeah, check your pants. Is that a little wet? <laughs> <laughs> uh, Riley's is is worse than mine. That one poop. That one night we were sleeping, like Cam and I would just like we would just, we, Cam and I would just be like sitting there, and then we would hear like <laughs> <laughs> coming from like where Riley's sleeping, and it happened so many times, and every time we both like looked at each other and we we're like. <laughs> Wait, he's sleeping on your bed though. He was he was sleeping there. Oh, he and was you sleeping were in on the my habit. bed. <laughs> 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 was it just a coincidence? Yeah, coincidence. <laughs> Good morning, morning wood. Good morning, morning wood. <laughs> so uh, trip is just inside Good morning, jokes. Riley. I know. <laughs> It'll be uh, so weird when we have to like interact with other people who I know. Who don't get the these jokes? Yeah, but they're so ingrained into us. It'll be difficult for sure. Inside jokes. What? The inside jokes. Yeah. The inside jokes. Jumble large. <laughs> what? <laughs> Is that supposed to be a new inside joke? <laughs> yep. <laughs> you just make a new inside joke by saying jumble large. <laughs> what is that from? That's from Star Runner. That's from Star Runner, yeah. That's from Star Runner, yeah. <laughs> That's <laughs> <laughs> when is was that? Was it that wanted to have inside jokes? No, they go on a road trip and their <laughs> oh, yeah. buddy's like, Oh, let's make this an inside joke. What's the joke? Jumbo large. <laughs> <laughs> Decide on one. <laughs> let's make this an inside joke. Uh, <laughs> are you guys? <laughs> Got the horses in the back. <laughs> Fuck. I can't even remember them all, we have so many. I know. Man, they're we all were... just so many that sprouted from this fucking trip. <laughs> right, they look cool. Look <laughs> cool. <laughs> <laughs> right, they look lean. <laughs> he like sucks his chin out. <laughs> I remember you kept, you're positioning Riley and you're like, Riley, stick your chin out. And then he's just like. <laughs> <laughs> like don't move your whole head. <laughs> Like a turtle. <laughs> I like turtles. I like turtles. <laughs> have you ever, have you ever wanted to, have you, <laughs> do you ever wanted to do you so much that you could do anything? <laughs> oh man. <laughs> What's another joke? Fucking that Veronique girl, like <laughs> Riley's following her, and she turns around and she's like. <laughs> Get scared that you're following her. Yeah, I don't think you were there for that one. <laughs> we were so baked. <laughs> we were like, like, gonna like mace him, and then I was just like, 
<laughs> pull out a shotgun, load Cause, it. Because Riley <laughs> turned um, around. The Riley's Tinder date. Oh um, she she like left and started walking home by herself. I'm like Riley, walk her home. And then he was like, Oh yeah. So he like got up and ran after her, and we we're like. Watch her think, like, watch Riley be following her from five feet behind the whole time. And she turns around and maces him, and then forces, like, or shotguns him. And then we went from, like, that to, like, a blowgun, like, to, like, nunchucks yeah. and, like, ninja stars. <laughs> like, the most random weapons that she would possibly have. Yeah. Just RPGs the whole boat. Yeah. <laughs> She said she was independent French Canadian woman and Where? didn't need no man walking home. <laughs> Where were you guys? Right. Except she said it more like Je suis French Canadian woman. <laughs> I don't know if that's. <laughs> Je suis French Canadian? I am French I am. Canadian. Mm. I had that recorded all the time. I had a feeling yeah, you no. did. <laughs> like video? Mm hmm. Footage corrupt. 